All right, more on matchings in bipartite graphs. I want to talk about a particular model, which goes right to his point. Uh, I, I've got a model in which I have some em employees or potential employees, candidates for positions. They are the letters A through G. And I have open positions one through uh, nine. Now, uh, I, either I give the applicants some tests or I look at their resumes or some other, and I make a judgment about whether a candidate is able to carry out the responsibilities of a certain job. And they're different jobs. So, you know, one might be brain surgeon, one might be truck driver. Um, okay, so you, you get a bipartite graph like this in which you have an edge between an employee and a job when, when or a candidate, a candidate, an applicant, when that applicant is capable of doing that job. Now, as a personnel director, your assignment then is to find a matching. And naturally, you would want to find one of maximum size. You want to fill as many of your positions as you can. And now I illustrate here that uh, there may be uh, an applicant that after testing a review of credentials is not really qualified to do any of the jobs. <clears throat> and there may be a very difficult job, like number eight, for which none of these applicants is capable of doing that job. Okay, so, so still the problem is to find a maximum matching. And now you're supposed to say, there's nothing new here whatsoever. We, our network flow thinking will find the maximum matching. I just attach a source, I put a sink, I direct all the edges up, I call all capacities to be one, I turn on Ford Fulkerson and go watch a movie or something. A short one, a very short one, okay. 